Kelvin Cochran was the former fire chief of Atlanta, a very accomplished guy, started as one of the, the first black firefighters in Atlanta. Uh, then he rose through the ranks to become the fire chief, and then he was hired by Obama to run uh, a division of FEMA. And then he was recruited back to Atlanta because the fire department was struggling in his absence. So this was a, a very sought after guy, very respected, very good at his job. And then um, a few years ago, Mr. Cochran wrote a, a short devotional book about his Christian faith in which he mentioned that uh, the fact that marriage, according to the Bible, is between a man and a woman. And I believe that this was something that he mentioned only on like one page of the book, I'm pretty sure. He shared the book with a few people. Next thing you know, because he wrote this book expressing his Christian faith, expressing a faith, by the way, that is shared by millions of people in the country. Uh, next thing you know, he's suspended without pay from his job. He's forced to attend sensitivity training, and finally he's fired. Well, he went back and sued the city for violating his First Amendment rights, and earlier this week, in a huge victory for the First Amendment, he was awarded $1.2 million, uh, which, is, which is great. Um, and this was an easy one, okay? Should have been an easy one anyway. This is an easy case to figure out. He was fired from his job with the government because of his personal religious views. That is straightforward in front, you know, that is one of the more straightforward and clear cut cases of First Amendment infringement that you're ever going to find. Now, they did an investigation um, while he was suspended, before they fired him, they did an investigation they, and they found no evidence that he had ever discriminated against anyone, even though he had outed himself as a Christian and as someone who believes in biblical marriage, they found no evidence that he had ever discriminated against anyone including homosexuals. In fact, he was well known before that point for being very inclusive, um, very progressive in that sense, you know, being inclusive and tolerant. He's a black man himself who experienced discrimination himself very early in his, in his career. So it makes sense that he would be a, a tolerant and inclusive kind of guy. And you're not going to get hired by Obama to run a federal agency um, or to, to, you know, you're not going to get hired to a federal post by Obama unless you are progressive and tolerant in that way or tolerant towards different sexual orientations anyway. But he was fired anyway. They investigated him because he, he declared his Christian faith. They found no evidence of discrimination, said, we're going to fire you anyway because they didn't like his religion, fired him purely for his religious views, purely because the city council didn't agree with his religion. And uh, he sued and finally he's getting $1.2 million dollars. <clears throat> 